Hi, I'm Rob Wikes. I'm a senior research fellow at the University College London Institute of Neurology and a senior lecturer within the Nanomedicine Lab at the University of Manchester. I'm delighted and excited to start a new research project funded by Epilepsy Research UK with my clinical collaborator at the National Hospital for Neurology and Neurosurgery, Dr. Beata Dia. The aim of our research project is to gain a better understanding of the mechanisms that result in respiration depression during and immediately after a seizure, as well as the brain arousal systems that could consequently kick in to regularize breathing and vigilance post seizures. In particular, we will examine the role of spreading depolarizations with subsequent spreading depression and what these play in this process. Spreading depolarization is a brain signal that can be associated with seizures. Essentially, this means that the brain experiences a sudden wave of hyperactivity followed by a wave of suppression of brain activity. You can conceptualize this as a power surge followed by a power cut. Normal brain activity shuts off. It can stay shut off for a long period of time, tens of seconds. And importantly, um, it, it can invade areas of the brain that are required for breathing or other areas of the brain associated with arousal or restoration of breathing. This video helps to illustrate the phenomenon we are studying. You can see some pre-seizure spikes followed by a seizure that propagates over the surface of the brain. Towards the end, you'll see a post-seizure spreading depolarization. This starts as a ring of hyperexcitation that spreads out ragely. As the depolarization passes over the brain, it shuts down neuronal activity for tens of seconds. My lab will be using innovative graphene-based technology to study in detail how spreading depolarization participates in breathing abnormalities and post-seizure alertness in preclinical models of epilepsy. In contrast to regularly used metal-based electrodes, these graphene probes are capable of recording concurrently both seizures and spreading depolarizations with high fidelity. My collaborator, Dr. Deal, will look for similar brain signals in recordings from her patients to determine whether very slow brain signals that can be detected with clinical EEG relate to activity suppression and respiratory abnormalities. Finally, we'll conceptualize ways to prevent post-seizure spreading depolarizations invading crucial areas of the brain. We would like to sincerely thank all the people involved with Epilepsy Research UK and who take part in their fundraising activities. Your support allows clinicians and epilepsy scientists to focus their research on projects that will make a difference for people with epilepsy. Thank you very much.